What do you expect from a Call of Duty game? What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Do you expect it at the very least to function? Especially for the 60 or 70 dollar price that they're laughably asking. Even without the landfill of bugs, Vanguard is a de-evolution of Call of Duty. Foolishly attempting to reinvent the wheel by failing to fix what wasn't broken, visual blurring and distortions while you're trying to shoot in a first person shooter, audio bugs, hackers and cheaters because you're too cheap to enable your anti-cheat for the beta sledgehammer? Spawns are so terrible it genuinely doesn't even feel tested. Falling through the map, getting stuck in walls, it, this isn't even the worst of this piss poor representation of a product that you expect people to pay for. The state of this game is unacceptable and all of the it's just a beta energy weirdos I see out here, if you climbed right up Activision's ass and held hands, you couldn't make a turd as massive as Call of Duty Vanguard. Hello beta testers. It's hilarious seeing people say the exact same things that Avengers fans said over a year ago during their beta. And a year later, Avengers still has people falling through the map, infinite elevator loads, and now Sledgehammer thought seeing was so overrated that they put visual distortions in their first person shooter. Okay. And visibility was already pretty bad. Lick up any review, they all have the same thing to say. And it's even worse on last generation hardware. You know how I feel. If you can't get it looking right, then don't even make it for it, man. Vanguard's audio is also so trash that the top post on their subreddit is actually just a sarcastic thank you, saying, wow, this game's authentic because the soldiers with tinnitus can't hear shit. Here we thought Halo and Battlefield might scare these people into impressing players, but the impression they leave is actually shock for most all of us. You add something called suppression that slows down when people shoot near you, not at you. They don't have to hit you to slow you down. You're rewarding people for missing. Why make a game at all? Make a bunch of participation trophies and sell that to the type of bitch you think wants those Fruit Loops. Did I mention Can't that amidst the shock of no factions, people hate your unnecessary change to the minimap? Yeah. I literally had more fun on a Fortnite recreation of a Modern Warfare 2 map because actually knowing where the enemy was meant that I spent more time engaging than searching. We don't play this for fucking hide and seek, homie. COD players want that dopamine of spawn, kill, kill, die? Spawn on, kill, kill, and you ruin that momentum with things like abysmal spawns. Double kill! Triple kill! Fury kill! Super kill! The absolute worst shotguns in Call of Duty history. and excessively punishing mechanics forcing people to slow down so much that they might as well be standing still. A problem only compounded by kill streaks instead of score streaks that contradict what you're trying to sell. The play your own way insinuation that you make with all of these attachments doesn't mean shit when players are forced to play a very specific way or die. Stuns, flashes, flinching, frangible rounds on every weapon, people somehow able to shoot through everything. Boy, like this video because I'm gonna start playing seizure inducing clips. This is a seizure warning. The countdown is on screen. Do not watch this. If you have sensitivity to this, this is your warning. From what I've experienced in this game, when it functions, it's just not worth the money. Furthermore, this game's earned people waiting to see how it reviews and whether the copious amount of bugs are fixed before they figuratively and literally pull the trigger. The tragedy is I fear people will just buy this in the state that it's in, which will encourage Call of Duty to keep sucking and continue to see how much they can get away with. When we're all chasing that rush, you know, we, we like to flex in a party of dudes in a new game, but I genuinely think most people should just miss this. In a match that I played with a party, many of us got 40 kills and realized we're not having fun. 
Whereas Modern Warfare 2019 had me coming back for more, I didn't even want to go back for another session of this. I love that there are 16 6v6 maps coming out, but with so many hiccups, ridiculous pacing, effortless interruptions on the enemy team from opponents, uninspired modes like multiplayer but battle royale, just no man. All Call of Duty effectively needed was come out and be the same ass game as been every year with a new setting and tweaked weapons. With Cold War, I thought, okay, this just isn't for me, but somebody's gonna love it. With this COD, I'm forced to ask, who is this for? When Marvel's Avengers makes a Kamala Khan-centric looter with bad loot and no endgame, you're forced to ask who is that for? As a consumer, the alpha did its job. It gave me an impression of your product. A bad one. As a consumer, the beta did its job. It gave me an impression of your product. A bad one. The way that I walk away is thinking to myself, I wish they'd just remaster Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I'm begging for it. But you know what? We know that they'd ruin it with skill-based matchmaking, blow up the lobbies after every fucking match so nobody can talk any shit, when that's where we made the best friends. But I don't think they get that. I think the types of people making these things these days are so interested in money and so out of touch with camaraderie or any kind of real friendship outside of check marks on a fucking Twitter that they could never understand harmless shit talk in a fucking video game. Because won't someone please think of the children in these mature games? Listen to this and tell me it doesn't put a smile on your face. Or maybe your response is, oh my god, that is toxic. Uh, that you want that says so much about you. Uh, They'd probably ruin Modern Warfare 2 by trying to rebalance everything as well, so hopefully you realize you're not growing out of Call of Duty, bro. COD isn't Call of Duty anymore. And people handling it, they're talented, they're capable, and they have a vision, but the vision is not Call of Duty. What I think is Apex Legends needs to implement a permanent mode like Fortnite's Rumble, where everybody can respawn and we fight in a small area racing to a score. It's kind of like deathmatch, but on a larger scale. If Apex Free Ass had that and Halo Free Ass coming out towards the end of the year, I hope Call of Duty in the competition for a player's time Developers and publishers need to be in tune with the desires of the players and show that they're listening, not hearing, and all of it. Not just cherry picking certain feedback from shills and check marks, bro. Come on. But well, man, there's probably enough kids to buy this regardless, which means they're not going to learn anything. And what sucks to me is I genuinely feel when you buy a game in the state that Call of Duty Vanguard's in, you make yourself the woman. And you make Activision, Activision, ow. See you in the next one. You and Joe, ready for report. Double kill, bloodthirsty. Glide bomb, ready for target. Red Bull kill. Fury kill.